Hello Taurus, right, this week's Tarot for Taurus, here we go, thanks for joining me. Right, now it's a nice week this week, it's the end of Mercury Retrograde, and uh, we've also got a nice lucky Leo full moon, giving us a bit of impetus to get things moving there, so I guess... I haven't turned a card over yet, but I guess that's what we're looking at. Uh, Tarot of the Sephiroth this week, a deck from many years ago. It doesn't seem to have caught on, uh, and I haven't used it for donkey's years. But I thought we'd keep it interesting. So the first card in this spread for Taurus, it's the Ace of Cups. Here we go. Now, that is a great card to get. It's a really alchemical card. Uh, being Cups, it's water sign energy. Yeah? It's Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces around you, Taurus, and they'll benefit from your sort of grounding earthiness. So we do need to think about getting grounded. We do need to think about protection. And see the way these swirls of water are curling down from the ground. They're not sort of landing on the ground. They're forming a rather artistic pattern there. So, um... If you fear that kind of things are slipping a bit, then uh, something is going to be uplifting there. It's not going to go all the way down to the ground, Taurus. Yeah, but Ace of Cups, it's about our longings, about our desires. So there's a lot, some long-term thinking in this, actually. It's kind of how would you like things to be looking down the line. Uh, it also looks like a, an ice cream cone. I'm not quite sure why I said that. I was going to not say it, and a voice in my head made me say it. But I think we'll find out more about that as we go. We've got some lotus flowers in here, okay, drawing our attention to healing. Also, these look very much like shamanic healing symbols from the uh, the Amadeus tradition, as far as I know, because I'm more on the Reiki side of it myself. But they are definitely healing symbols there, okay. Also, the lotus flowers remind me of the Reiki Association, first and foremost. But we must also remember the thousand petal lotus flower, which we open to do our spiritual work work and meditation and which we close when we finished really important to be grounded really very important to be protected really it is okay so that is the ace of cups i'm going to go into work your light by rebecca campbell with danielle noel's artwork this week for a bit of extra significance so tell us more about the ace of cups there we know it's the beginning we know there's tons of alchemy in it where is it actually going? What is it actually pointing to? And we have, da, 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 what is it, what is it, what is it? Awakening. It's an awakening. That's what it's pointing to. Now then, uh, healing all over the place with this because this character is actually lying back. But I am going to say healing all over the place. In other words, it's kind of... Um, <clears throat> Not all entirely making sense how this situation at the moment is going to bring healing into your life, Taurus. Uh, we'll have a look at the middle card of the reading in a second and we'll, we'll kind of get to the heart of the matter that way. Uh, but this card is telling you kind of lie back. You know, there are forces, there are powers that will help and that will heal. Uh, I also feel actually that although there's a lot of impetus to get things moving in the Ace of Cups here, uh, we don't actually have to force ourselves to go right out there and do that now. This is a good lucky time. There is a lot of very positive energy around. So look at these beautiful colours in this. And it says energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. I'm not picking up a long dark night of the soul here, not by any means, Taurus. But uh, certainly things are going to be going faster and making more sense than they are doing at the moment. Ace of Cups there and it's all about awakening ground so let us move on and have a bit more of a shuffle of tarot of the sephiroth and say so let's have the uh, the middle card the heart of the reading in this spread for the sign of taurus please i'm doing this right well it's, it's the first one of august really but the best time to watch these friends is whenever you're drawn to them do take a look at my channel well over 400 vids on there at the moment some of it's about making alcohol and stuff like that, but most of them are readings by this time. And the middle card in this reading is Eight of Wands. Now then, this is amazing. We keep getting this lilac uh, amethyst colour coming up. The last reading I did for Aries, all the cards had this am lilac amethyst background. This deck does actually have different coloured backgrounds, but this is really being shown uh, strongly at the moment. And this is very much in the healing zone. Uh, lilac amethyst brings healing in a very gentle way. Uh, as beautiful as the uh, the energy of amethyst it's you know normal dark colored purple amethyst can be uh, it is kind of quite a striking uh, healing influence and for some people it's better to have that lilac amethyst so have you been going through it taurus you know I, I feel people have kind of been relying on your earthy groundedness too much so much that it's taken a fair bit out of you let's just have another drink of tea excuse me mm. Now then, it says on there, I can't remember, but you, you can have a look. 
and it says, believe in yourself, everything else will follow, love and light. Right, important to do that. But the Eight of Wands, right, it is a very positive card in terms of getting things actually done, yeah? It's Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy uh, around you guys. <clears throat> And as they're getting things done, I feel that this is what's actually causing uh, the, the problems for you, uh, such as you might be going through. And of course, it is fluid energy. I hope you're not going through any problems, but some people are. And whatever those problems are, the progress is being held up by something. And it's just too many people putting demands on you, as far as I can see. But look at these eight ones. They're not hanging about for anybody. Nothing can stop them. This is extreme progress. This is really, really kicking and getting on with it. It's kind of mercurial. It's kind of Sagittarian as well, actually. Look, there's a Saggy arrow down there. Interesting, right. Okay, so work your light oracle. Tell us more, please, about the eight of wands in this reading for Taurus. Tell us more, please, about Taurus. In, well, tell us more, please, about the eight of wands in this reading for the sign of Taurus. And what have we got? Right, let's put those over there. And we've got Sisterhood of the Rose. Wow, I've had this deck for a while. It's the first time this one's ever come up. So there's something unique going on here. Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. Now, is that you or is that someone you need to talk to? Mm. Feels a bit like the Hierophant in the, the tarot here. So, you know, this is about needing to talk to someone. It's also about needing to be clear in your own mind spiritually. Uh, not so much about where you actually want to go because we never really know that until it unfolds. But what's the direction? What feels good to you? You know, take those things into account in any decisions uh, that you're trying to make before actually going forward here. Uh, but that forward moving out of one's energy is actually going to happen. Beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher, those are the things to occupy your mind with at this time because those are the things that are going to mean the progress, that, that are going to make the progress be more meaningful, that are going to make the progress take you a lot closer to your goals, to where you want to be. Okay, uh, lots of powerful signs, lots of powerful images in that. I'd be here all day if I tried to describe everything. But uh, the rose is very much in tune with this deck. If we look at the, uh, the back of one of these cards, uh, they all have this on the back. Uh, roses everywhere and for me that's all about spirit connection actually I use these a lot in mediumship readings for uh, contacting the other side and it seems to work very well indeed when I do um, as a medium you know I, I'm, I'm quite happy not to use cards at all when I appear in a hall or a church and Sammy, or I, Sammy and I are in Barmouth uh, next Wednesday by the way taking a service there so we are looking forward to that and we will not be using cards. But uh, online readings, distance readings, cards are very, very helpful, actually. So uh, there's something as part of the reading. All this stuff I go off into rambling about is my spirit guide trying to tell you something. I'm sure of it, okay. <laughs> so beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Go into those higher chakra thoughts, okay, because they actually do become more and more practical as you go along, particularly if you're a Taurus and you're grounded. So let us have the outcome card, please, in this spread for the sign of Taurus, which I am doing at the beginning of August 2019, but which people can watch whenever they want. And that final outcome card is, whoa, nearly lost it there. Number zero, the fool. Great, great, great. Now, I know this sounds probably a bit like, let me find somewhere to put these cards right. Um, I know this sounds a bit like a step backwards because there's been all this progress, there's been all this working out, and it all starts with a grand alchemy of the Ace of Cups there, and that's really powerful. And then we come to the Fool's Journey, and it's like, all start again? Well, that's no bad thing, okay? Because it does take a bit of alchemy to get this journey started in a really positive way. You might have tried to be, uh, you might be trying to do something that you've tried to do many times before, maybe actually done many times before, and not actually had the outcome anything like what you want, but it goes in cycles, so it's great to start this journey. Okay, this is major arcana. This is very much about you, uh, dear viewer, whoever is watching this, it's a personal thing. That's the way the energy flows in this. It's also closely tied up with the energy of the moment as well. You can see this character is very closely in tune with the moon and stars. They are very close in there. Uh, his familiar animal there is a crocodile. Just hold it up. 
And uh, yeah, a crocodile would certainly uh, put you off making the wrong decision, would it not? Okay, so look out for people snapping at your heels, um, but don't worry about them. That's the truth. Uh, that, that's the true way to handle this. Uh, the sun is very powerful in this. This character is actually right up above the sun. So although this is a beginning, it's extremely kind of mystical, it's extremely cosmic, and it's something that would not be happening uh, unless you were in this zone, Sisterhood of the Rose, really, all these uh, higher chakra things, beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. So let us now go back to the Work Your Light deck by Rebecca Campbell and say, will you please tell us more about the fool? In this reading for the sign of Taurus, tell us more please about the fool. Tell us more please for Taurus in this reading. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. This came up in the last reading as well, so let's give it out. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it is happening. Well, it is, friends, believe me, it's kind of difficult to see it. The politicians who are running the world at the moment are sort of very controversial figures. Uh, we've actually just got a guy who looks like he's got a dead raccoon on his head as the Prime Minister of uh, Britain here at the moment. So uh, I kind of know what that feels like now. And uh, there are some real psychos in government, but what's really happening is they're sh showing their true colours. Uh, you have to be a bit of a psycho to, to, to be in government, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, when you think of the, the hearts they trample on, the plans they crush, just to kind of keep themselves at the top there, it makes it very difficult to believe that we're actually moving the world towards a positive outcome. Uh, but believe me, friends, have a look around YouTube. There are people channeling kind of Pleiadian energy. There are people channeling things from all over the universe. And... Um, Okay, you know, some of it's bound to be a bit far-fetched, but there is a lot of truth in those things. Some people are real. See, I, see who you're drawn to and tune into it, because when you hear those people, you realise that actually we are creating heaven on earth. Things are working out, and actually uh, we are actually... I'm, I'm told, anyway, that by these channelers that we are not actually going to kill our planet in the end, which has got to be very good news. But I'm getting really out there now, and that's something important to do, OK? Because uh, the crocodile, or is it an alligator down here, snapping at the fool's feet is doing it for a reason. There are dangers, but the dangers aren't always to be avoided. They are always to be negotiated somehow, and you might need to avoid whatever's going on, because this is a massive rush of energy if you're not ready for it, Taurus. And you, you know, no one's saying you've got to be ready for it. goes in cycles, comes round again and again, but the journey's starting off, and it's a massive journey. That's why there's an alligator there to warn this guy. It is an absolutely massive journey, and when you get to this point, this... These are all the uh, cosmic influences around you and you're going to be much more aware of those going forward, Taurus. The energy is coming in in a big way. On that note, I'm going to say thanks very much for watching. I'd love to do longer readings, actually, and go into more detail, but I'll, I, I wouldn't get 12 uploaded in a week. It's a fact of life, unfortunately. But the internet's getting faster. Progress is getting faster. The world is turning and turning and turning, and somehow life is going to pick up. Somehow things are going to be better, because that is the whole point of being on this planet, friends. Have a fabulous week, Taurus. I'll be along soon with another reading. Thumbs up, please, if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the bell, check out the other videos on my channel if you will because I'm sure you'll find something of interest there if you've enjoyed this one leave me a comment we'll share the journey and I'll be back soon peace